misconception is that you have to be training every day, seven days a week, and putting in massive miles to get better. I have maybe done one 30 hour a week in all of this training. Like, I'll, if you look at my schedule, if you go on to Strava and you see how much I ride, I don't think I had more than a 25 hour a week other than Tour California. You know, I don't push myself too much. I listen to my body. I know when I need to take it easy. If I need to take two days off, I take two days off. I don't just go out and feel like shit just to go ride some more and feel even worse the next day. Doing um, proper recovery, and that's coming in here to some sports recovery. It's going to the gym, making sure that you're focusing on having a good, strong core, making sure that your muscles aren't too tight, that you're limber, and that you don't have any imbalances. Because those imbalances just build up over time. You know, you're doing hundreds of thousands of repetitions a day riding, and that adds up. It can screw you up, and it's a slippery slope. So. I think a lot of people end up getting burnt out after a few years, they lose interest in the sport or they transition into something else, but for me I'm always going to ride a bike. I love it and I want to make sure that I have a body that's capable of doing that for the rest of my life.